Greetings, programs. This is Wretch, and welcome back to the Sinking City. And we got a lot accomplished in the last stream. We were able to finally get a shotgun, which came in very handy. And we um, found some more of the power players here in Oakmont. We were able to track down... What was his name? Um, Brutus... Well, Carpenter, right? who is one of the heads of the great families. He's a smuggler boss and pretty much the key to getting anyone off of the island, which we're trying to do for that one gentleman who knows where Professor Doe is being held. Now, um, in order to get Brutus's help, we need to figure out what's going on with this doppelganger. We went to the crematorium, um, found that he was able to escape being burned in a carpet, which is good. And uh, now we have went, we have gone over to his residence, and we are going to head in here and see if we maybe find said doppelganger, and confront him and see what exactly this is all about. And as I uh, told the stream earlier, I told chat, um, there is some thunder outside my window right now. I'm going to hope we don't have like a power outage or anything. So fingers crossed on that. So here's Throgmorton Manor, so all the great families apparently live close to each other. The Carpenter family offers food and medicine between 9am and 5pm each day, one piece per person. Interesting. So they have kind of like a soup kitchen thing going around. Let's see if we can talk to the lady. Hey, hey you. No loitering. Only workers are permitted on the premises. You're handing out supplies for free. That seems awful charitable. Mr. Carpenter is a pillar of our community, generously donating half of our supplies to the people of Oakmont in their time of need. I could use some supplies, if you can spare them, that is. Here, take some medicine. Thanks. You're welcome. I'm looking for work. I heard you might have a job. Sure. There's a sack of potatoes in the basement of the manor. Go get it. Bring it here, okay? Got it. Get a move on then. Bye. Okay. And he just gave us... Gave us coin. Let's check out the outskirts of the manor before we go in. Got the Venus de Milo there. Everyone's tired, that seems to be the theme. I actually had a pretty good day, all in all. I spent most of it in uh, the editing suite here on my computer. I'm um, working on a video for work, and my bosses and the people involved love the end result, so I was pretty happy with that. Already a nicer place than the Throckmortons. It's got its own bar, like, right off the bat. Definitely what we need in these Prohibition times. I love the seashell Victrolas. Are they burning books, or...? Hmm. We did get a Mind Palace clue. We're gonna have to, uh... Looks like a ton of people are here recently because the ashtrays are still... smoking. Oh, 
Oh, hello, friends. Let's head down to the basement first. Ooh, there's a deeper basement. A sub-basement. I heard you like basements, so we're gonna build another basement right under your basement. Hey, there's something we should all be familiar with in the world of gaming. Potatoes. Now, if I grab said potatoes, is it like an instant... So, where are the potatoes? Let us follow the Spectre people. Are you going to lead us into that other basement? No, you're not. Got coal. You. Anyone in there? <gasps> knock, knock. someone steal the potatoes and go outside? They did. They escaped with the potatoes. Thieves. Oh, you... That horrible aim. There we go. Thanks for the help, officer. Help me, please. Oh, I thought you were a lady. Sounded ah, like one. please, friends. Don't take away my food. Your food? This is stolen. This sack was meant to go to the hungry. We are the hungry, mister. M me and my family. I have five children to feed and nothing to feed them with. I look well starved to death without it. Have a heart. Um... I don't get it. You can have food for free. The carpenters are distributing it. So why steal? They'd only give me one portion. Even though I told them that my wife and kids are too weak to get here. Don't worry. I... I get it. Look, uh... Hang on to the sack for now. I'll try to work something out for you. Okay? Oh... Oh, thank you, mister. K hey, bless you. You're a lifesaver. Just don't go anywhere. I'll be back soon. Probably desperation. Holy crap! Hi! <laughs> Stephen with the rate of 20. How's it going, everyone? Hell's bells. It's been a good day. Hi, everyone. Um, if it's your first time here, I'd like to say hello. My name is Wretch. Um, I'm a YouTuber primarily, but I do a lot of streaming here on Twitch for the Extra Life charity, and we are in the middle of playing the Sinking City. Panther Lilycat, thank you very much for that follow. Welcome to the grid. Hope you enjoy your stay. 
Holy crap, with all the love. Cat, thank you for gifting that tier one sub to Steven. That's your 44th gift sub on the channel. Holy crap. Thalen Twilight, hello as well. Shy Twink, hello. We're just playing this nice, wholesome Lovecraft game. And remember guys, all bit subs and ad revenue that um, are raised here on the channel go to charity to help out the kids. So thank you all for supporting just by hanging out, watching, bit subs, follows, whatever. <sighs> Okay, so they only do one portion. Um... We did not fetch the sack of potatoes. Potatoes! So we'll go around this way and try our best to explain to the guy, Hey, man. Your potatoes were gone. Don't know what to tell you. All I know is that there were flesh beasts involved. <laughs> Boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. <laughs> There's a... Uh, a minor issue. What? W what issue? Well, the sack was stolen by one of your workers. I tracked him down so he's not going anywhere, but... I'm trying to decide what to do with him. Damn thieves, may I take them? I'm sure your boss would want to know about it, but I can see you're pretty busy. Ah. Tell you what, I'll go talk to him for you. Uh, you're right. I'm needed here. Vera, go see Mr. Graham Carpenter and report the incident. He's upstairs. Graham? That's the son, right? Let's see. Hello, you lovely gentleman. Nice pool table. Note on Brutus's door. Don't let Papa Brute have the keys to the room. He's already lost them twice around the house. Phalanges! Alright there. Head tentacles. You gonna show us the way? <laughs> he left his keys in the refrigerator. It's an honest mistake. Have you guys ever left your keys in the fridge? We've all done that. Merka. Destroy this mad brute. Wow. Pro Innsmouth propaganda posters like World War II style. Okay. Yeah, you don't get these for staying in your foxhole. So, someone of. Holy crap! Odessa MC raid with a party of two. You guys are losing it today. Just like the comic you're creating? Nice. You've forgotten. I have checked my fridge before to see if my keys were in there. So. You left your milk out an entire night once? Aw, oh, feels bad, man. Letter from Boston. Dear Graham. I was very glad to receive your last letter, and I appreciate that you're worried about me. Sorry. <laughs> I want to thank you once more for saving my life in that battle. I'm sorry about what happened to your face. You could have just left me there dying, but you didn't. I'm forever in your debt. 
Jones. Oh, we have technically have not looked at Graham's face. Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. This is fine. It's also raining raids. Hallelujah. <laughs> well, thank you for that raid, Odessa. Goodbye. So is this Graham? Oh, he's wearing like a fan of the opera style mask. Interesting. I don't know if you guys can see. Yeah, there you go. Okay. We will talk to him here in a moment. It's a doppelganger. Brutus. Ah, uh, Suzanne. Thank you for that $10 donation to Extra Life. That is awesome. We're at $5,715 out of our $6,000 goal. Remember, guys, when we hit $6,000, I'll be doing a full stream reading The Strange Case of Charles Dexter Ward, which is my favorite Lovecraft story. I think that'll be fun. Thank you for supporting the kids. Okay, we need to figure out... Oh, that is... Um, I know that painting. That's Saturn eating his son. I think. Or Jupiter. Saturn or Jupiter. This has been empty for years. <laughs> Seems someone believes eternal life comes in a bottle. Oh, there's deep ones here. There are people with the... There's people from Innsmouth in this town. So. Alright, let's have a chat. Brutus Carpenter, I presume. Yes, that's right. Did you bring me something to eat? I'm very hungry. Um, no. Sorry. Thank you for that uh, lurk. Well, move on then. Bye. So he's just very hungry. That is a very appropriate um, painting then. Yeah, how'd your stream go, Steven? What'd you play? How'd it go? Got some rifles and an old flintlock pistol there. Oh, there's the freaking... Huh. Now, weren't you the one who called Robert an ape lover, Brutus? Okay, so that was not a mafia kiss. That was, That's actually a relationship between the two. Interesting. What you making, kid? Mischief. Yeah, that was kiss kiss. Kiss kiss bang bang. You played Subnautica? Subnautica's a great mellow game I've seen people play. Except when Leviathans are, in, are involved. Okay. Alright, so... <laughs> Dark and spooky. Don't know if you guys could hear that or not. Mr. Carpenter? Yes, Graham Carpenter. How can I help? One of your workers is a thief. Stole a sack of potatoes. Oh. I do hope my people haven't taken it into their own hands. Not yet. Is, is there a way to solve this peacefully? The guy has a hungry family. That's why he stole. I won't punish a man for trying to feed his family. Why didn't he simply ask me for more food? Tell him he can keep what he stole. If he needs more, let him come back. It may be that he'll need medicine, too. Can you give him this? It's not much, but it'll help. 
Thank you. I thought Brutus was the head of the Carpenter family. Something changed? Oh, no, not at all. My father's still in charge. I've simply taken on some of his responsibilities. He's past his prime and needs more rest. So let's go to the straight awkward. A mask. Why do you wear it? A war wound. I prefer not to discuss it if you don't mind. Goodbye. Okay, got another mind palace clue. I wonder where these are posted. These might be posted in the exact same areas that are on the editor's wall in the newspaper. Hey, Candy Skull, how you doing? Welcome. Everyone, Candy Skull is um, a friend of mine from the con circuit. She's an amazing cosplayer. She um, is. She was one of the people who have unfortunately got affected by the mixer shutdown. So if you guys can, please drop her a follow. Drop a follow to everyone who's been doing the raids today. Like, got to, we had some. We have some good vibes tonight. Got to keep that. Keep that going. Okay, so we can go back to the guy and let him know that he's not going to die. We've got to find out what it is. And Candy Skull, you got your first stream tomorrow, right? Okay, he's still alive. With his sack of potatoes. Me again. Hey, you can relax. Everything's been taken care of. The sack is yours. Oh, bless you, sir. My little ones will eat today because of you. Look, I talked to Carpenter about your situation. He said to come by whenever you've a need. He'll do right by your family. Really? I, I didn't know Mr. Carpenter was so generous. That family sure has changed. Thank you again, friend. You said the Carpenters have changed. What were they like before? Uh, well, uh... Cold-blooded. Hey, you can shoot straight with me. It's all right. We'll keep it between us. Worse. A lot worse. Criminals and murderers. Rumors are their boss, Brutus, defiled several women and got away scot-free. Terrible. People called them a grand family. Their word is law in Oakmont, along with the Throgmortons and Blackwoods. Tread carefully with them. And... Aw, oh, Kath, thank you for that $10 donation for the kids. And Suzanne, thank you for gifting that tier 1 sub to Doom. You guys get access to the awesome emotes. And know that you are helping out the kids with your support. Doing a 12-hour stream tomorrow. Sick. And we actually don't have a choice. We have to give them this. Hey, listen. I've got a surprise for you. A surprise? Okay. What is it? Carpenter wanted me to give you this. Okay, bless him and his generosity. Please, send them my thanks. Okay, it was just a basic first aid kit. I pray that Kay grants me one more day. Alright. So. You need to talk to James Warren. He suffered from a head injury and required urgent treatment. We've got no new clues. Kind of running out of options here. He's dark and spooky. Um. Okay. There's the double in the manor. 
we still need to figure out where James Warren would go with his head injury. We already checked out the... Oh, God. <laughs> Stephen, thank you for very much for your $10 donation. We are getting close to that Lovecraft reading, guys. Holy crap. Good stuff. And 100% of that donation goes to help out the kids, so... Your support is amazing. You know, we just have the crematorium. We already checked the university. The hospital, he wouldn't be at the hospital. The only thing, place I think we didn't ch check was the Candy Skull. Thank you for that tier one sub. Got yourself your Tron disc near your name, as well as access to the emotes. You are awesome. Now, wait a minute. This is still considered a detective site. We have not got everything. Same thing over here. I, yeah, I disagree on the hospital, too. He was wounded, but... It's very strange why that's like that. We definitely aren't going to the sanitarium. You avoid those in uh, Lovecraft games at all costs. On second thought, let's not go to Arkham. This is a silly place. Well, let's see if there's anyone else that we can talk to. Any other clues we can grab from the house. Don't you have work to do? Rude. What you making, kid? The, oh! Brutus's diary. This is an unexpected turn of events. I'm on the verge of complete rejuvenation. Frankly, I didn't expect the flock of this age-old church to still exist, let alone assist on my quest. Perhaps this high priest merely feigns disgust at our family proclivities. Or perhaps he finally understands why I must prolong my existence. Regardless, all that remains is to meet with him. The cost is irrelevant, for out of all of Oakmont, I alone deserve eternal life. Tomorrow, tomorrow, the land will meet a new young Brutus Carpenter. Key evidence collected. Please tell me all the evidence collected. That would be nice. Crap. And we already saw the picture. Probably missing something. Some little detail. Something wrong. True, he, you ain't kidding. Was there anything? Yeah, you don't get these for staying in your foxhole. And we got the letter. We already checked the Bible. I don't. Uh, I think I did talk to him and he said, what you making, but we'll see. What you making, kid? Yep. This is the end of that sordid affair. <clears throat> Musical notes. I'll bet you there's something down in that basement, but we can't get down there yet. Well, I'm curious if we're having a, uh, a situation that has, is actually somewhat related 
to my, uh, to the book I want to be reading once we hit 6k. Rolls Royce Phantom. The keys are in the ignition, Your Excellency. Let's go ahead and talk to Throgmorton again. See if there's any additional, uh, additional dialogue since we've seen that picture. I mean, it would make sense. They're neighbors. They live right across the road from each other. Oh, into a loading screen. That's not good. Oh, they're still eating that freaking cake. I'm not in the mood for chit-chat, Mr. Reed. Alright. Well, maybe I can work my way upstairs and see if, uh... Brutus met the priest of an old church. Well, there is an old church. Is there an old church nearby here? Or is it just... It might be that church that we actually explored earlier. Where was that? It's right here. Alright, so we're going to see if there's another church nearby. Um, like down here, maybe at this park. And if there's not, then we're going to go ahead and take a quick travel point. can read that. It's very Sin City. I like it. Oh, it's a theme park. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. That's worse. Oh, did I see a steeple? I did see a steeple. Church might be right here. Oh, that's not a steeple. That's a... Hmm. Eighteen eighty-five. It's a good year. It's when Doc found himself in Hill Valley in Back to the Future Three. So what is this place? Somewhere we can't go. I guess the question that I have is. This is, like, the nice area of town. They wouldn't go to the Hospital of St. Mary. There's maybe some other hospitals to look for. And I actually do have that cheat sheet. Historical research. University, the hospital, the fish market, St. Michael's Church, um, Central Advent, and Redemption Church. Central Salvation Harbor, Harbor, built by the Carpenter family. So that is definitely the church we need to go to. Alright, let's go ahead and skip this. 
Oh yeah, a theme park worse than a church, absolutely. I would think. Shy Twink, thank you for your $10 donation for Extra Life. Holy crap, guys. Y'all are doing some great work for the kids tonight. And I very much appreciate it. The good vibes are real. Alright, let's jump in the phone booth and bill our Ted or Bill and Ted our way across town. So we got another site that we have not found everything and most most vexing. Um, before we do anything, let's go ahead and um, run our way over to the real McCoy or the real Brutus and see what he has to say about all of the stuff that we found. Low key, your favorite joke is Ted pronouncing Socrates Socrates. I like the running joke about, um, wait, that's not the headquarters, that's just the bar. About, um, Bill's stepmom. <laughs> hey, Missy! I, I mean, Mom! Your stepmom's cute. Shut up, Ted. You remember when she was a senior and we were freshmen? Shut up, Ted! Maybe some new information has popped up here. Whoa! You like it here, newcomer? Well, get used to it. No one leaves Oakmont nowadays. I, I would like the 38 pistol rounds just because we wasted so many. Yowza. <laughs> Hold true, little internet. Whole true power lines. I'm counting on you. Depending even. So if I suddenly if I suddenly go offline, guys, just assume that the worst has happened. Lightning has struck me directly, and I am dead. Or I have superpowers, one of the two. I'm hoping for the latter. I'd have broken all your bones, fella, if Papa Brute hadn't put you off limits. Oh, we can ask him about... Th okay. Funny thing. I found a dead woman in your basement. Now, I don't suppose you had your men kill her. Quiet, you. You're scaring Mary. Look, she didn't die by my order, kid. Take my word for it. And the guilty have already been severely punished. Look, I have my shortcomings, but I don't hurt women or kids. Goodbye. There we go. All evidence collected. Hey, what's your business, kid? How are you doing, handsome? For those of you who are watching who may have played the... Oh, Raven! So many dancing baiters today. I want to say today and tonight at the same time. So we are less than $245 away from getting that to go. Look at all those FTK emotes. Just calm down. No need for violence. But um, if you guys have ever played the Devil May Cry game, specifically Devil May Cry 5, see if this voice sounds familiar. How are you doing, handsome? That's um, Nero's weapon specialist. I forgot her name, though. That's yeah, a wonderful Congo line of Vaders. Something you never expect to hear, but... 
Is today Disco Day, Doom? Every day is Disco Day, if you want it to be. Dead shark. Alright, go little boat. We are heading to the church. Now, we already explored the church. Do I need to go there? Let's not. I personally am not a fan of seeing dead sharks. One of my favorite um, videos that I've seen lately online is a bunch of, there's a beach shark. Like, I think it's like a great white. And a ton of people actually pull it back into the water. You guys having an argument? Yep. I'll leave you two alone. Ah, of course. I missed the door completely. This should be fun. This is the church. We are looking for that preacher. If he ain't down here, or if he ain't here, then he just hasn't shown up yet. Because remember, we were amazed going into a basement where no one wanted to kill us. Yeah, it's just we're not supposed to be here yet. Man. So I think we're pretty much at an impasse right now until we figure out where James Warren went to. I mean, we can go ahead and try the hospital again. I don't think he'd be there unless we needed to go... You know, that actually might be the case. We may need to go to the hospital now. And if we don't find him, we'll just go ahead and look it up. <laughs> because we have been searching for him for a bit. It's a little bit like L.A. Noir. That was one of my favorite playthroughs I've done on YouTube in quite some time, other than all the editing I had to do to uh, censor out the the naked parts. in there.
Like I said before, I really think that they had just removed the open world aspect from this game and went more to the traditional uh, Sherlock Holmes vibe with areas to explore. I think it would have been pretty good. I'm still, I'm still enjoying it. I'm still having fun. It's just... So maybe we need to come back in regards to uh, Carpenter's Manor. Oakmont keeps its mouth shut. Hey, Walk the Void. It's actually really nervous. I was going to be really nervous if it was going to start hailing, but, um... I got authorization to get my roof repaired on Monday, so... I'm less nervous about that now. Maybe he was just outside the hospital. Because they do have that little, uh... I didn't even think about that little camp out spot. Oh! We didn't notice this before, did we? Find something you like. Cheaper than the rest. It's supposed to snow tomorrow? Where are you at, Void? We are missing something. I'll send whatever help I can, but there's no room here. We have our hands full. Find something you like. Cheaper than the rest. Okay, that's some sort of calamity happened. This way. Stay by the fire while I try to find you some medicine. Is this for the quest? New victims. And if the flood won't relent, there'll be even more. Time to figure this out. Okay, this isn't for the Warren quest. This is for, uh... New victims. And if the flood won't relent, there'll be even more. This way. Stay by the fire while I try to find you some medicine. I'll send whatever help I can, but there's no room here. We have our hands full. The flood was sudden and hit the city hard. The hospital staff tried to help, but quickly ran out of room and medicine. Yeah, that was just for the, uh, that was for that side quest. Boo. Alright. That was cool, but not helpful for our current escapades. Pringles, man. Be safe. We don't have any free beds left. <laughs> Oh, okay. So, Kath, I'm sorry. You said check the records, and I forgot that the hospital had records. Crap.
Locate James Warren. Okay. <laughs> so you're even? Okay. That'll work. So subjects would be patients, period. Let's uh, take that out. Male, 35, citizen. Place of work, crematorium, diagnosis, head trauma, concussion. Treatment hospitalized, second floor of Oakmont St. Mary's Hospital. Bed rest recommended. So he was up there. He just hadn't spawned because we hadn't... We were doing the steps, just in the wrong way. You're James Warren, right? Yeah, that's me. What do you want? I'm sick, can't you see? A week ago, a group of people brought an unconscious man to the crematorium. I need to know who those people were. What well, makes you think I'd know that? You were supposed to cremate a man listed as Jack White. He escaped, and now he wants to know what's going on. So tell me, who paid you to burn a man alive? How do you know about White? I talked to him. I need names, Warren. Uh, I can't. <laughs> I say anything. I'm toast. They'll certainly kill you if they find out Jack White is still alive. I can arrange that. No, please. No, I, I didn't ask their names. They're priests, but they ain't from St. Michael's Church, that's for sure. They were talking about the Lord of the Woods or something. Maybe from an old Oakmont church? That's all I know, I swear. Where can I find this church? I don't know. Some things in this borg are best left alone. It's not much, but thanks. Wasn't that hard after all, was it? You got what you came for. Now leave me be. You have a baked potato? Bye. Alright, Steven, thank you very much for the raid and all the support. It is greatly appreciated. Oh, oh my stomach. You have a good night. Okay, Mind Palace. You've got clues! All the evidence leads to an old Oakmont church that worships the Lord of the Woods. Maybe some history books could shed light on which church it is. We know which church. We've been there. We don't need to go do anything else. <sighs> Alright. So to the library we go. Yeah, everything's er, almost everything's a delicacy somewhere. Where's the ah wrong way? Exciting research. With the way that I'm shooting, though, it's probably for the best. Don't want to get into any combat. <laughs> oh. It's one of those weird storms I can look outside and actually still see daylight. <laughs> Thrilling bureaucracy. Is there any other type of bureaucracy? Tantalizing paperwork. I love libraries. I wish I lived close to one. Wrong door. 
extra, extra. All the news I can read a map, I swear. In real life, at least. Where's our mumbler? Mm-hmm. History. Well, actually, no. Could be religion. Ancient. Local. Hmm. Alright. I was hoping that we could actually find something on the actual Lord of the Woods, but maybe. History. Ancient. Local. Prayer to the Heavens. Another prominent Oakmont place of worship was the Redemption Church. Its flock venerated Kay as the Lord of the Woods and Shepherd of Lost Lambs. Redemption Church was at one time the city's largest congregation, but its influence dwindled after St. Michael's Church of the Burning Bush was founded. Redemption Church still stands in Central Salvation Harbor on Marsh Avenue between Polaris Road and Old Church Road. So, right where we've been going. <laughs> Am I correct in that? Mm-hmm. We don't even need to set a checkpoint. What kind of conclusions can we make right now? Brutus is never going to change. Graham's motivated to change things. I'm very curious to find out what Graham's story and all this is going to be. And what the doppelganger is. I, I mean, I've got a library in the northern part of town. Like, all the libraries are at least like a 15 minute drive. Which is a shame. And let's just go to Salvation Harbor North and work our way down. That could be a Dorian Gray situation, but yeah, I think all of that alchemy. I forgot which Lovecraft story it's referring to. I think it might be referring... Well, no, I'm not seeing a lot of air conditioning. The thing on the doorstep. Lovecraft dealt with a lot of that. Well, there used to be a little there used to be a little library um, chapter fairly close to where I live now, but it closed down, unfortunately. They kind of consolidated everything into larger libraries instead of smaller ones. Man-eating eels, the worst kind of eels. Oh crap. Back south. <laughs> I think maybe the storm has passed me by. The interesting thing about um, the area that we live in is we can get hit with all kinds of bad weather. But the moment it hits the pollution level, <laughs> it just kind of dissipates. We've got this, like, shield of pollution. Because we're in the oil field. Oakmont seaweed something or other. Captain Pollution, yeah. Who was was that the name of the evil Captain Planet? I 
I knew there was a captain. There was an evil Captain Planet. I hated Captain Planet, though. I, d I didn't mind the mesh that I just hated his design. It was Captain Pollution. Okay. I haven't saved the game in a bit. <sighs> the door won't budge. Oh, now you're gonna lock. Okay. Now you're gonna lock yourself up, huh? That's alright. We'll find a way. Attempt two, at least. Still stands on Marsh Avenue between Polaris and Old. Okay. Maybe I need to check the sign. Church of Redemption, founded in 1667. Cast away from your evil deeds and find redemption in our Lord. Oh, there's a padlock. Okay. Apparently the shovel's not doing it this time. It's usually really good at it. Eh. Alright, time to use the movie trope. That doesn't happen in real life, by the way, folks. I hate to burst some bubbles. And... We're full on there. We've got two grenades. Two first aid kits. Yeah, shooting the lock doesn't work in real life. Nine times out of ten. Hello? <laughs> We've been here many times before. This is our third or fourth visit to your lovely congregation. I look forward to find, finding disgusting evil things in the basement this time. Secret snack chamber. Oh! Holy crap! Drugs! Need drugs! Woo. Oh! There's badness here. Freaking dimensional shamblers. Well then. Gooey. Oh, the thing like jumped out like the strangers in Dark City. That's kind of creepy. Okay, I guess that was just a glitch. Interesting. There's something. Oh, got another. Oh, that's the thing for the for the mission to look at these old buildings. That's cool. I have a feeling that I probably should have opened this last. Actually, no, that actually would have probably driven me mad. When you're driven completely mad, I think liter I think you just either smash yourself in the head with a shovel, or you shoot yourself in the head. 
So. Note from the church. Hilda failed to seduce the mayor with promises of eternal life. Now we need some mercury spilled in his bedroom to make our proposals more... attractive. That is an aggressive recruiting plan. not Cthulhu. If it was Lord of the Woods, it could be Shub or what was its name? The Black Goat. No, it doesn't have hooves, though. It could be just their version of Dagon. Guess we'll figure out more as we go along. Now then, crap, we don't have metal scrap, so we gotta be very careful with our shotgun rounds. And a new mine palace clue. Huh, it's a cult! Not a church. Wow. Color me shocked and surprised. Oh, there's a body there. Okay. Give me one sec to see if there's anything else to check. There's some metal scrap for a shell. Ooh, someone had their face ripped off. Neat. And there's more of that icky icky girl. Ah, now that's a familiar smell. Like your dead skunk. So what are you hiding in there, friend? Something's chewed this one up real bad. <sighs> well, then I better shoot it up real bad. Why is there always another... Oh, God. <sighs> that is not what I wanted to see. That's like the last thing I wanted to see. Why is that there? <sighs> Why? Ah, this is in good shape and ready to use. Oh. This is in good shape and ready to use. Thank God. I don't actually have to do it. I thought we were going to have to dive. I burned the seductive witch, my daughter, my cursed seed. But she came back. How long will the Almighty test my faith? She's here, laughing at my weakness. Her body is not hers anymore, but it is the filthy goat's womb, the breeder of the devil's spawn. She is mine, my blood, my treasure. 
Now neither the devil nor filthy men may touch her, for I have smitten her sinful flesh, mixed her beauty with dust. How could it be? How? She came back, born by the sinful hole her body turned to. She whispers to me, promising me that we'll be together always. They hanged me, their father, but not for long. That night I was born again by my dear daughter. We are family. Lolani, you weren't around when I uh, talked about why I don't like undersea stuff, do you? Or were you? I don't think you were. Oh yeah, well, if it's Lovecraft, you're gonna get dark. Get dark. Make sure you get every scrap. We don't want anyone reading these while we're down there. Take them to the oh, crematorium. Okay. We'll destroy them before we dive. Don't wait. I'll catch up to you. Okay. And there's one more. Wonder what happens if you go into a portal inside a portal? Does it cause a a hole in the space-time continuum? The stars are aligned, and a new turn of the cycle begins. The time has come to return to the mother's womb, and we shall be reborn, brothers and sisters. Let's get a handle on what actually happened here. Okay. The stars are aligned, and a new turn of the cycle begins. The time has come to return to the mother's womb, and we shall be reborn, brothers and sisters. Okay. So these actually may be a cult worshipping Mother Hydra, who is basically Dagon's mate. Make sure you get every scrap. We don't want anyone reading these while we're down there. Take them to the crematorium. We'll destroy them before we dive. Don't wait. I'll catch up to you. A group of fanatics based in the Redemption Church got rid of several bodies, took all the documents they could, and dived. Okay. Oh, we got a got an experience point, guys. What should we throw it into? Melee attacks do more damage. Man-eating eels deal half the damage to you while swimming. Good god, why? Carry seven more pistol shells. Reload your revolver faster. There's a rifle. Damage increase. Submachine gun damage increase. So we get a submachine gun. I think having more ammo is definitely going to be good. So let's go for that. It could be. It could be Shub Shub. 
It could be the Dark Mother. Well, I thought I was going to get out of this. Fathers and sons. <clears throat> Let the Lord of the Woods, Azure, eyes guide you. Dive. Whew, harpoon. going <laughs> let's go back up that seems like a wonderful thing hmm. I'm looking for a cave entrance or something Cool. And here's the thing, I can't actually inject myself with, uh... with any of the drugs. Okay, we got that one. What are we doing? Yeah, our sanity gets better if we're away from that magic rune. Ah. Eliup. These are basically just safety markers. Well, I'm actually I'm less worried about this one just because I can't see like open. It's just a ca it's like an underwater cave. That's not the end of the world necessarily. But now that I've said something, I am right where I didn't want to be. Feels good, man. I assume one of those eels. What? Wait a minute. We came from over there. What is over here? Gotta follow the markers. To heck with everything else. This actually reminds me of that scene in uh, Alien Isolation when you. head back to the shipwreck. Whoa! Oh, the steam. Steam guys are bad, folks. Don't, don't know if you heard. Oh, 
Holy crap, Ola! Hi! Time to load! What are you? Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> I backed up into the great dark abyss. I don't know where we are. Am I going the right way? Who knows? Who knows? Ow. And we can't jump. Okay, I know where we are now. That buddy should be... Right over here. Yeah, I see him swimming. And we got another sigil right there. So we're gonna... We're not gonna shoot until we see the... Uh, Danglies of his phalanges. His or hers. I'm sorry, sea creature. I didn't mean to. Uh... Come on. Shake it off there, buddy. You're doing great. Whoa. So that kind of stuns him. Oh, did we kill him? Nope. Nope, we didn't kill him. We made him angry. Time to run. Let that be a lesson to you. Please don't be chasing me! Hi! Head toward the green light! <laughs> well then. Any fight you can walk away from. So I guess it doesn't kill them, it just stuns them. Come on. There you go, little trooper. Oh, we've got cultists. Don't know if they're... They're probably not the friendly kind. Thirty-eight pistol. I think that is Shub Shub, actually. Why are you here? You look like a fresh wound. Yeah, well, you're no oil painting yourself, fella. Imbecile. Strike us down and many more will rise. Fresh from the feckin' mother's womb. Slick, naked, yet burgeoning with strength. Our eyes infest this city. Our hands, too. We fill young Graham with our words. Soon he will be hollow. What was that about young Graham? His house is divided. It cannot stand. The young will secede the old as new shoots rise from decay. Our growth shall choke the sun. The veins we open will seed crimson blossoms. The feckin' mother grants new life. You should have stayed above. Oh no! Whoa, whoa! How? What the heck? Oh, you're shooting goo at me. Oh. Okay, 
Okay, so there's bombs. Um... Oh, thank God for crafting. Oh boy. Aye, we shall feed the daughter of the woods. It is Shub Shub. So she devours the weak. I Shub Nugorath. A mortal man is allowed to touch the womb of the life. A mortal man is allowed to be reborn in a new form. A mortal man will gain a thousand faces, a thousand eyes, and a thousand vessels for his mind. Trust me, I'm just helping. And I'm just helping. Officer. Okay. You know what? Oh, did we get him? Oh, no. We're fine. Everything's fine here now. How are you? Need a break? I don't think that's going to help. Oh, can I make a grenade? I don't have cordite or mental scrap. Stop that. Are you my mommy? Where's my mommy? I'm helping. I'd love a grenade. Oh! Oh! Okay, so that'll kill me instantly, but I can pick them up and throw them back. Without... Gotcha. Alright, I need you to drop some stuff close. Yeah. 
So I'm going to assume... Yep, yep, yep. Doing good, doing good. I don't know how much, how many lives this thing has, but... Woo! Hey! Use protection. You heard that, boys and girls. Okay. Let's uh, lick our wounds here. So much like most things in Lovecraft, even when one of the great old ones dies, it comes back. It usually just takes time to regenerate. Thank you. All right, now I didn't kill you guys this go around. But if you're just going to hang out here, I'm not going to go out of my way to shoot you. We'll just let you starve like the other ones did. Yeah. Cthulhu, Black Goat of the Woods. Man. a familiar smell. Thus far, old Brutus has refused the gifts of the Lord of the Woods and the Fessid Mother. This is our chance to change Oakmont once and for all. Help Graham the son to get rid of his father, and all the streets of the city shall be opened for us. If Graham refuses our wishes, you know what you have to do. Like your dead skunk. Well made. Pricey. And all evidence collected. Uh, are you my mommy? Where's my mommy? Trust me, friend, it is for the best. Okay, yeah, where's the phone booth for fast travel, please and thank you? Um...
Oh, I didn't know that was... Yeah. Carry one more first aid and one antipsychotic. Yep. Whew, boy. Alright, so, the cult will try to use Graham to grow their power base in Oakmont. Graham's ba brave enough to go against his father's traditions, he really wants to change things for the better. Graham will become nothing more than a puppet, his strings pulled by the cult. We also have Graham will stand firm. Graham is able to resist the cult's influence, he's made of stronger stuff than they think. Oh man, so we got to decide what to do here. After he regains power over his family, he'll continue as he always has. Murder will just be the start. So if we change these ones, that Bruce is never going to go change and Graham will stand firm, gives us the option. The family will be in good hands with Graham. He'll change the city for the better and be able to resist the cult. And the other one is... Brutus must be the head of the Carpenter family. He may be cruel, but at least he won't be manipulated by the cult. Ugh. I don't know, man. Part of me wants to help out Graham. He is the war hero. Despite that Phantom of the Opera mask, which is a facial injury. You know what I mean? He probably, um, I would think Reed being a military person himself would want to help Graham out and help him resist the uh, the cult's tentacles. And he's the younger generation. Oh. I think we're going to try. I think we're going to try and help Graham out. See what happens. Because we saw during that murder that um, the guy said, hey, we don't, work, we don't kill women and children. That was a woman's body. You know what I mean? And that's very true. Brutus won't last forever, and if Graham doesn't have a strong power base, the cult will be able to move in. Very, very true. So does that sound good with everyone? We go ahead and help Graham. Besides, even if he's a villain, he'll be a cool looking one. Alright. Well, since we've had such a lovely time here in the church, we might as well figure out the history of the place. Cannot build here. It's cursed. Cursed. The sky smote the carpenters for their sins. You cannot build a church in this place. Good. Let this place be our legacy. May the horror that befell the carpenters be forgotten, and hope take its place. Esse quam videri. Well, I got some bad news for you there, Padre. So 
So this is essentially where the carpenters worship Chug and they built the church right over it. Make it quick, Reverend, I implore you. I lost everything to this fire. My house, my family. No need to recite every single bloody name. Let's get a handle on what actually happened here. Hmm. That one didn't really fit with all the others. And that's true, Lilani. Grant, you know, the food and the medicine. If he was on the up and up about that. You cannot build here. It's cursed. Cursed. Good. Let this place be our legacy. May the horror that befell the carpenters be forgotten. And hope take its place. Esse quam videri. Make it quick, Reverend, I implore you. I lost everything to this fire. My house, my family. No need to recite every single bloody name. The old carpenter manor stood here centuries ago, until a fire destroyed it and killed most of the family. The church was built over the ruin. Yep. And that was right up there with, uh... He was the one who said, let this place be, you know, something new, something positive, and then all of his family dies. And a mysterious fire. Now, the question is, who do we back? Which we're definitely going to back Graham, but we only have key evidence collected at the Carpenter Manor, guys, so we've got to figure out where that last clue is. Thus far, old Brutus has refused the gifts of the Lord of the Woods and the Fused Mother. This is our chance to change Oakmont once and for all. Help, Graham. Oh, okay, that's the letter. Well, maybe we need to go ahead and have a chat with Graham about that. You know? Be like, hey, buddy, how you feeling about this? I wonder if it would have allowed us to get one ahead and just shot the doppelganger in the head. <laughs> wonder how things would have went that way. Probably poorly. For all concerned. I'm hoping that Graham, Graham appreciates the fact that we got rid of the cult. I don't know if that would be good for, uh, if that would be good for Reed to have to put down a war hero. He already went ahead and killed Cavendish. Zoom, zoom, zoom. And actually, maybe now that we know the information about the doppelgangers, that's the piece of evidence that we're missing from this house. I kind of want to go back to where that guy was that we gave the food to and see if he's okay. If he's still there... I don't know if the game would actually get that intricate with, like, consequences, but we can certainly find out. Because the lot's right here. Oh, 
Okay, he's gone. That doesn't really mean anything. Just mean that that NPC didn't need to be there anymore. He's gonna have his own cult with blackjack and hookers. Don't you have work to do? Oh. Okay. I'd kill for a good fight. Yesterday, we're beating up newcomers. Today, we're hiring them. So what's gonna happen tomorrow? Yeah, we definitely need to check up on him. Check around the house. One more time. Because remember, there's still that freaking dungeon down below. Saving our game here, just so... Hi, friend. What you making, kid? Check the thing behind him. Nothing on the ground. See, this right here. Yeah, you don't get these for staying in your foxhole. Tell me why you tried to kill your father. What? What are you talking about? I know all about your plan. I have proof. Just level with me. I... I knew you weren't just a worker. Look, I'm not proud of what I did. He's my father. But he was a terrible, terrible man. Crime has always been my family's business. I want to change that. I want to help people. But he will never stand for it. So that's how it is. My father sent you here, am I right? Yeah, you're right. I'm Charles Reed. I can change this city, Mr. Reed. But to do that, I must be the head of the Carpenter family. I need to have that influence. I'll pay you if you need, but please listen to your conscience. Brutus will not change. He harms so many, he must die. Ooh. I'll think about your proposal. Be wise, Mr. Reed. Oakmont's future depends on your decision. Goodbye. That should be all the evidence, right? No? Something wrong. What you making, kid? This has been empty for years. <laughs> Seems someone believes eternal life comes in a bottle. Only hope that he's able to hold off the cult. I guess the question is, do we go for the devil we know or the devil we don't? Let's think about this, guys. So, we know that uh, Graham basically pushed for 
um, Brutus's death. Brutus, because of that, has had a change of heart and kind of wants to take a more softer hand approach to his crime operation. And that's a good point, Lilani. Graham has good intentions, but in the face of people like Throgmorton and others, does he stand a real chance? He's got the thugs for it, though. Yeah. And like like uh, Kath said, the second that that he dies, it's going to be a huge power vacuum. Yeah, he knows to get dirty when he needs to. Alright. Guess we're gonna go ahead and do, do that and call our shot. So, do we just... shoot everyone there? We just go in, guns a blazing. Well, let's head south to find out. Doop -a doop doop doo. All right, shotguns at the ready. Nice night for a massacre. Read this place one more time, though. I don't remember you. Were you always there? Oh, there's just more people here. Alright. I see how this is gonna go. I, Graham didn't have anything to say. I know who's behind the attempt on your life, Mr. Carpenter. And? Don't make me wait, kid. First, I want to know what your plans are for when you resume as head of the family. Everything will go back to how it was before. Tradition exists for a reason, kid. Besides, it's none of your damn business. You know, I met your son. I think it's time for a change in leadership. Oh, lordy! No, ma'am. No. No, don't do this. Don't do this. I will hit you with a brick. Ah! Ooh, top man. Oh, lordy. Get up. I will do it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I threw a brick at you. I like to think that you're not dead. Just knocked out. Not, not dead, only dreaming. Okay, 
reading his boomstick. Uh, that's not wise. I don't want to waste a boom. I don't want to waste a uh, shotgun blast on you. Oh, he's like, oh, you won't, eh? All right, am I just gonna have to shovel you? Guess so. We still got one more person, I think. The person who was cleaning. Yeah, top marks for quantity, but so much for quality. Even my gear's in better shape. Metal scrap. Alright. This house is clear. Work our way north, let Graham know the news, and... That was some good brick pelting. Thank you. Yeah, appreciate that. I, I hope that is Kevin McAllister... in quality. This may sound weird, Suzanne. It's like, it was, that went better than expected. Uh, I think it's because in this, I'm better at shooting people than creatures. Take that however you want it. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and finish this case before the end of the stream. Avoid staying in the water for too long. Level clear and nary, nary a smear. Just a death to shove because we didn't know what we were doing and accidentally falling into a hole of black abyssiness. Could have been worse. Could have been worse. Don't you have work to do? Oh, believe me, friend, I've done it. <laughs> I have done that work. Now, before anything else, I know we're probably missing something here around here. That last piece of evidence. I feel like it's in there, but we can't. Can't go that way. Sorry guys, I'm just checking one more time to see if we can find that other clue. I hate missing things, and though we may get it by finishing the mission, I just... Wait a minute. Okay, nothing on the side of this table.
So you guys were there in case I needed to, uh... Kill all of you on the way to Graham. What you making, kid? I can quit whenever I want, Vito. There's that last piece of evidence. Well, look at our friend. Our friend in yellow. Paris, December 1918. Paris, December 1918. Right after the guns stopped firing. Hmm. I've seen this face before. Yes, you have. All right, we got that taken care of. Your father is dead, Mr. Carpenter. You're the head of the family now. This brings me no joy, but thank you. You made the right choice. A noble choice, despite what it entailed. I had to kill my father twice. I had to ask you to stain your hands too, but the guilt isn't yours. I take the blame entirely. It's all right, Mr. Carpenter. Now, will you help me? Of course I will. I'm in your debt. Thank you once again. Goodbye. Okay, escape from Oakmont. Now, we should have asked him about the... Something uh, wrong. About the favor, but I guess he already knew what we were looking for. He... A man of connections. Know what I mean? So... We made the necessary arrangement for Fred's escape. Now it's time to get answers to my questions. And Fred was in the basement of the fish market. Hopefully Fred is okay. And everything we did here wasn't for nothing. What's your problem? But uh, I think we did make the right choice going with Graham. All things considered. I think any kind of change right now in this town is probably for the best. So... We will go ahead and check on Fred at the beginning of the next stream, guys. I want to thank you all very much for hanging out. Um, we're going to be going ahead and doing a raid, so please stay tuned in the chat. And if you guys haven't followed the Twitch channel, please do so. I try and stream on Sundays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays with random times in between. And if you're watching the replay of this on YouTube, I have a link to the Twitch channel in the description below, as well as a link to my Extra Life channel where I raise money for Children's Miracle Network hospitals via the Extra Life charity. So please check that out if you feel so inclined. Like, share, subscribe. You guys know the drill there. And we will see you next time. Later days, everyone.